Hello everyone, this is Roy FPV and in this video I'm gonna teach you how to improve your inverted tricks. I will start off by mentioning that it is really important to always turn off throttle when inverted and to have a clean inverted horizon in your tricks before you move on to a harder trick. Let's start with the basics and move on to more intermediate stuff. There's different ways to enter the inverted uh, state. You can roll right like I did here or roll left and you can also use the, use the pitch stick to pitch forward or pitch back. Okay, so once you get familiar with the basics and with the inverted pause, you can start adding some extra rolls before you pause. It's pretty simple, but it needs good muscle memory to let go of the sticks at the right time. That's where the simulator comes in to practice those fast rolls into a, a perfect pause inverted. Now moving on to a bit more advanced trick. I call this trick the inverted side track. It's a simpler version of the inverted yaw track. In order to do this trick, first you need to gain some momentum, for example by doing an eject. Then you do a 90 degree yaw spin toward the object that you want to track and slightly throttle up while rolling into the inverted pause. This is gonna give you the effect of traveling inverted sideways while tracking the object. As you can see, I was doing it in the background. Feel free to pause the video or slow it down to better understand this trick. Now let me show you how to inverted yaw and inverted yaw track. First, let's start with the inverted yaw. You see a lot of beginner pilots do an inverted yaw spin by rolling into an inverted state, then inputting some yaw, like this. Let me teach you a better way that will make your inverted yaw spin much smoother. As we learned before, it is essential to always roll by using uh, yaw and roll in the opposite direction. This leads to my next step. What you will be doing is mixing roll and yaw to get into, into the inverted state. But once you get there, instead of letting go of both the sticks, you just let go of the roll stick, which will make your inverted pause flow into the yaw spin much smoother. Now moving on to the final trick in this tutorial, the inverted yaw track. We will use the same tree that we used for the inverted side track as an example. So in order to do an inverted yaw track, you have to use the technique I showed you for the inverted yaw spin. If the object uh, you want to track is on your left, all you have to do is roll to the left while inputting yaw in the opposite direction, like we learned before, and then letting go of the roll stick once we are in the inverted state. And if the object is on your right, you roll right and yaw left at the same time, then once you're in the inverted state, you let go of the roll stick only. This is it for this uh, tutorial, uh, I hope it was helpful and uh, not too complicated. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section and uh, I'll see you later.